Hey there, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, Mike B here with Ben and Mike Olson out of Manufacturing, a.k.a. The Big Worm. And we're just looking at some through hole soldering. This is part one of three of our Headroom Amp series. Uh, so Ron here in the video is uh, soldering on the first set of parts. And this is for a desktop amp, either our regular desktop or our ultra desktop. And right now he's installing the resistors first. Is there a reason that he does that? Yeah, it's because uh, for height reasons, it's easier to use the lowest height part first. Mm. So then you can flip the board over, as you can see, and then you just work your way up because otherwise it's more chaotic that way. I see. This is a technique been learned in manufacturing from years of training. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, I learned something new from you every day. That's right. <laughs> here's installing the quarter inch or Quarter watt resistors. These are power resistors. He's really good at clipping. Yeah, he's fast. <laughs> I wish he had ten employees like this. We'd be set. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and these are the filter. That's for those are for the filter resistors there. The high frequency filter. Correct. Okay. And whip that stuff out. All right. And again, see, it's all about height. So he works his way up. Now you do the, the low height. Caps, these are red caps, is what those are. I just like watching them solder and fast forward. Wish my hands that fast. Um, but maybe he doesn't burn himself going that far. <laughs> <laughs> Such control. <laughs> Such precision and speed. How could one man possibly? Oh, he's the flash. What do you know? That's right. <laughs> Yeah, now he's putting a bunch of switches in. Our power switch, cross feed, gain, all that stuff. Back here, selector switches. So we received the boards printed already with all right. the circuits. Okay, we get our boards blank like that, and then we install all the through hole parts on there. We do all that all in house here. We do have some stuff that's built out of house, but that's only made over in Idaho. So everything we build is all built in the USA. There's some more caps, just a little higher profile. So how long does this process really take in real in time? In real right? life, this probably takes a good couple hours. I wish we could fill them all in about five minutes, that'd be sweet. <laughs> yeah, it takes about two hours, because you gotta make sure everything's really in there properly, everything's nice and straight. You know, nothing's, you know, floating funny, and we really take our time. I mean, right now it doesn't look like we've been taking our time. <laughs> trust me, when we build these, it's very precision, very much, you know, make sure everything's correct. Put some bigger caps in there, and that's a power AC jack. Tweaking, getting them in there nice and straight. Use that ballpoint pen for probably for writing. <laughs> <laughs> and there's your and there's your volume pot right there. Alps volume pot you put in. Now the RCA jacks. We use only Cardis jacks too. By that the is way. correct. Our jacks are Cardis. We use lead-free solder, so all our amps are all lead-free including all our parts, and pretty much every one of our parts is lead free. So, that's something for the, the green folks out there. What kind of solder do we use? Uh, good question. We use, uh, it's, well it's lead free, but it's uh, there's silver in it. I wanna say it's 2% or 5% silver? I wanna say 2%, maybe it's 3%. So 2%, 3%, or 5% possibly? Yeah, one of those. Last set of caps here. And that, that, this should about do it right here, I think. This is last step. So we should note that this is just the first step. There's no DAC chip. Right, this is just the, the through hole board itself. We still gotta build the modules, still gotta build the DACs, and then install those into this guy, and then assemble the whole desktop from there. So there she be. Part one is done. Well, thank you, Mike, and everybody don't forget to tune in for part two coming up soon.